But here we are, Alabama LSC week's finally here after a bye week. Uh, things were a little bit slow last week. Things much differently this week uh, with the not the game of the century, but it's going to be another top 10 game. I mean, for the last five years, it's been a top 10 matchup. So uh, we're going to look at Alabama, some of the concerns Alabama had going into this game with LSU, I guess, Matt, start off. Uh, what are some of your thoughts? Um, yeah, these are two very good games. This game has a chance to be close, just like other Alabama LSU games have been recently. And in games that are close, kicking, field goal kicking becomes very important. And, and Alabama has a kicker that's been very much inconsistent. Is that issues consistently throughout the course of the season, really the last two seasons. And I would put that as a, a primary concern going into this game. So Adam Griffith, I guess, has made, well, like two straight kicks or something. He's up to 10 of 16 on the year. Still not a very good percentage by any means. And that has to be a concern for Alabama going into this game. Second concern, tackling in the secondary. So Alabama has moved or has two converted corners at safety. Good from a coverage standpoint. But at the same time, if you look at Geno Smith in particular, the, the Georgia game had a couple missed tackles on Georgia's running backs. The, the Ole Miss game had a, a missed tackle in the open field on a short pass that then turned into a 30-yard gain. So with, with what LSU's offensive line has been able to do throughout the course of this season, allowing Leonard Fournette to get into the second level, there are going to be, be times during the course of this game when, when Alabama's safeties, DBs, have to make the tackle. And, a concern right no yeah and i guess touch on one point with the kicking adam griffith did make the the 37 yard field goal a year ago with the final play of the game to send it to overtime so there's some history there he has one one clutch kick uh there i guess the point i was going to make about alabama with their offensive line uh has been a concern and some negative plays a couple of them recently uh and lsu's been very very good against the run, the run. uh they're a top 10 run defense as well uh auburn had their biggest game probably the the best game against them running the ball, they had uh, 160 yards, 37 carries, but one of those was a 65-yard run. So uh, consistently, they've been one of the better run defenses around. Uh, Leonard Fournette, no one's come close to stopping him yet. I guess teams have had a little bit more success stopping Derrick Henry, so I guess that'd be the bigger concern uh, is just to get him moving uh, so the offense, because all the whole offense builds around him. So uh, that'll be it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with more Alabama LSU coverage.